hello 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 welcome back to this channel i love you very much and i really appreciate your returning to this channel and if you're new here just consider subscribing to it you have done a lot that you wouldn't want to miss the rest but just subscribe to this channel okay so you can go through all the videos we have made already so that you catch up with us and today's video is something about what we have all heard of if only you are into the pig farming business you have you might have come across uh, today's topic okay and it has actually ruined a lot of farms okay it has rendered some farmers like restless and it has become the main headache of most of the pig farmers especially in ghana here okay and just recently like four months ago okay we heard that uh, a lot of ghanaian farm pig farmers here have lost a number of their pigs especially in the ashanti region of ghana and it is about coming up again the same issue is coming up again and if i say the same issue i'm sure by now you understand it it is nothing like any other thing but the african swine fever okay it is what is known as the african swine fever which popular people say swine flu swine flu no it's african swine fever okay and what is it what is that african swine fever you know the simplest thing we can say is it kills is a disease that kills a lot of pigs on the farm no matter what you do once it gets to your farm count yourself on your farm as a loss or loser okay because you are going to suffer it mercilessly and going to be very massive on your farm no mercy for you okay so what is this african swine fever that has been bothering and then killing a lot of uh, animals on the farm that farmers do not even want to venture into pig farming anymore okay so i want to discuss african swine fever today i say african swine fever is a, a, a viral disease okay of pigs and it's very deadly with no cure because it's a viral disease it has no cure so what is the best thing just prevent it and how are you going to prevent it unless you know what you're supposed to do okay and the virus comes once in the environment okay the virus once it is in the environment okay it can persist for months okay smoking and then cooking cannot even kill the virus okay if it will kill you have to hit it to uh, some extent it's not easily for you to kill it okay and you as a farmer can contract it easily as well as other pork consumers you may like you can unwillingly contract the disease through contaminated clothes or equipment okay so how do you get to know that your pigs or your your, your animals are suffering from this african swine uh, fever okay there are some signs that you get to know and once you notice this it means there's an issue on your farm that you have to tackle emergency okay and it's an urgent issue you have to tackle it what are the signs of this swine fever the first thing is a uh, high fever okay high fever and you know pigs are made of fat and once the temperature begins to heat they feel uncomfort because the fat in them start to like uh, uh how they, they dissolve like they, they begin to melt okay they, because of the high temperature in, in their system as a result of the swine flu and your pig is always weak okay you you experience frequent weakness in your pigs okay and then like reluctance to stand your pig does not want to even stand on its toe or its feet okay and then vomiting vomiting follows as well and then diarrhea sometimes very bloody and the most frequent one on the subsequent or the clearly a uh, sign that you're going to uh, suffer or a clear sign of swine flu is a red or blue colored skin okay especially around the ear side and then the the mouth or the snout okay you want to see this colored red or blue very colored one right? unusual of your pig and then coughing with difficulty in breathing okay and if your saw is pregnant you're going to uh, it's going to suffer miscarriage on the farm okay that is the pregnancy will be aborted immaturely okay and still birth to if it's able to give birth to like pharaoh the piglets are going to die before they are out and then the latest if they are also not dead they come out very weak and there's nothing you can do about it you run at a loss okay and subsequently the virus and is able to tackle your like attack your pigs it gives it a maximum of 10 days to do away with your pig if it's not strong enough it's going to kill your pig within 10 days okay so how is this disease the swine flu african swine flu how is it contracted okay contact with contagious pigs bought from infected areas okay 
people are like some some big farmers we are we are like we want to start pig farming but we want cheap things okay so you hear that somebody is selling pigs somewhere and they're like it's very cheap for you you don't even ask you don't ask whether and uh, everything is on point because they are cheap you just go there and buy like 20 14 okay to come and stock hmm? and at the end of it you are bringing the virus to your house or your farm okay and then feeding them with kitchen waste leftovers in the kitchen you don't have to feed your animals with them okay and then contaminated clothes especially when a veterinary visits uh, an infected farm and then comes back to your farm you know if his clothes is not changed okay or it's not disinfected he would definitely transmit from that farm to your farm and you're going to suffer it no matter how many veterinary doctors you bring to your farm you will still suffer it okay so contaminated cloth especially the boots and then equipment okay of veterinarians veterinarians okay they can also help to transmit this disease easily on your farm so how do you like prevent this uh, african swine uh, fever okay once this is a, a major issue disturbing farmers how do you prevent it okay one you call your vet whenever you suspect this disease as i've mentioned there's signs to you okay fever and then that reddish uh, colored in the ears and then the snout difficulty in breathing miscarriage okay once you experience this or you see this developing quickly report to your veterinary let him come to the farm to check for you okay but make sure he disinfect himself and then avoid contamination okay and then you should be willing to change your clothing before and after entering the farm okay change change yourself well don't be entering there with anything like that okay it could be contaminated don't just go there like that and disinfect equipment after you use it disinfect it okay and always buy your pigs from trusted farms that's why i say you don't have to be yes you don't just have to love to cheap things like you got somebody send them at a low cost you are running to buy them without making further checks okay you end up bringing the virus to your farm you get it and then keeps keep other pigs away this is for especially those who are doing it in the open hmm? patched pig, uh, pig rearing okay like your your animals are in the field in that case other animals can come into contact with them okay so keep other pigs away from your your pigs okay and don't feed them with the kitchen waste i've told you already don't feed them with kitchen waste and do not acquire pork or its product from infected areas okay let's help to prevent this african swine flu and avoid buying animals when put up on sales because they are they are paid cheaper okay animals will appear cheaper and then at times they say cheap things are costly you buy them and then your investment will go within weeks it's gone okay and then ensure that there's enough biosecurity this biosecurity is a whole topic that i will I talk on it in another video okay biosecurity you have to observe biosecurity on your farm okay so african strength fever has ruined a lot of pigs like last four months ago, four months in ghana in the shanty region over three thousand pigs have been killed okay because of swine flu and it is approaching again another group have lost 60 already within the first week of uh, its evidence okay another group farm has lost 60 of them and it's still counting so do your best to keep african swine flu away from your farm i have started pig farming okay i have been in it for like seven years yes beginning from my family and then taking over from the family running it myself okay and i can tell you they have never been this disease on my farm because you have to ensure enough biosecurity whenever i hear that there's the african strength flu coming in okay i never allow veterinarians to visit my farm i don't call them anymore i do everything by myself and i avoid myself from going to other people's farm i do my alone and i don't want people to interfere in mine when the disease is approaching i don't allow people to come to my farm even if you like others just come there they, i want to buy your pigs and then want to look at them they are, they are nice and they, let me tag them i don't okay keep people away from your farm be the owner of it and then be in charge of whatever you do on the farm okay and together we can fight this african swine flu don't let it ruin your business and don't let it get into your farm to destroy or damage